is called the Dust Bowl, and it is nasty. Once upon a time, it was where the gold saucer employees used to live. But when hordes of fiends started appearing, the staff relocated up top where it was safe. The building's vacant. All sorts of lowlives, ruffians and ne'er-do-wells swooped in to stake their claim. Ah, the place it could have been tears me up inside. So, basically another wall market. Ha! A paradise compared to this cesspool. Set one foot inside and it's farewell freedom, so long dignity. I mean, why else do you think they started calling it Corel Prison? Except that prison's got no bars, no rules. Market, maim, murder, it's all on the table. In summary, prepare yourselves for one seriously cold reception. This is our stop. Nobody home? Oh, they're home, all right. Stay sharp. Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? Uh, Merc for hire? Got it in one, boss man. But which <laughs> one of you is it? Is it you? You? Maybe you? Or is it the pooch? <gasps> I'm just messing with you. That there is our man. I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Just look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, think? Mr. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. Ha! I'll tell you why. Because it's my business to know. Yeah. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have the scoop on the man who brought down Donnie C? Yeah. Let Think me just say, it. bravo. Well done. We're looking for someone. Hey there, hi there, ho there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice? Uptown secrets always trickle down. Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So the son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? I got him under lock and key. Out in the middle of the village. Now I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find him. But only if I get a little something from you first, understand? A little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad freaking daylight. So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir. It runs on guilt. So much so goddamn much God kill! kill! So yeah, Gil, that's what I want. And relax, I know you don't have it on you, but I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. I'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. <laughs> on that note, till you bring home the bacon, I'ma hold on to your pizzas. Right, 
Help! Help us out! Oh, hey, show up! Kiddo, we'll take excellent care of him. Unless you fail to deliver, in which case, well, let's just say there are plenty of other ways to raise the funds out of the quad. Can put a price on anything. Frick. Ah, uh ah. -uh. That's guts to you. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? <laughs> yeah. Later. All right, Mr. Merc. Let's go meet your bird. <laughs> Better stick close, you hear? <laughs> Don't you go messing That's right. You just follow me. Or run for it. Go on. See how far you get. your new champ. Hmm. He's all yours. So you're Cloud the Merc. <laughs> Can't say I was expecting someone so pretty. Pretty shrinky. I'm Esther, Chocobo Wrangler. Pleasure. Wait, Cloud? Aren't you that kid from the ranch? Well, hang on. You two know each other? What happened? We were making our way to the saucer for Pico's racing debut. When these ones nabbed us. Hold up. How about you tell them the real story? How you were dying out there in the dunes? How we saved your scrawny ass? <sighs> Ungrateful little piece of shit. So, you want me to race Pico? In a fire. <laughs> the one and only. In that state? Our trek through the desert did a real number on him. Can barely lift a claw. If he doesn't eat and regain his strength, I don't fancy his chances. Good thing his jockey's on the job. Pico needs food, and you're gonna find it. Fine. I'm coming too. Okay then. Grab that bird some grub and bring it to me. I'll be waiting. presents the one, the only, Desert Rush. For a limited time only, if you're in the high score, you'll get some rare greens. Step right up and give it a try. Let's 
Great job out there. Got some greens for you, as promised. Ah, oh, don't tell me you're not interested. I suppose the produce here ain't all bad. I mean, compared to the How stuff folks are growing out in the grasslands. You wrestled up some quality stuff, did you? It's a start, but nowhere near enough.
Welcome to Bale Jumper, watering hole for the dregs of the Dust Bowl. Heard you're in the market for some greens. Maybe. If so, I've got a garden up on the cliff. Everything's yours. Assuming there's anything to take, I've intended to it in ages. Here, go see for yourself. Be sure to keep an eye out for fiends, though. The place is cruel.
telling me they give their birds sand baths to get them clean. Wonder if it's any better for them than a standard brush down. Maybe I'll give it a try with Pico. How come y'all can eat veggies? It ain't fair. All right, let's see what you found. Yeah, he's looking a lot better now. But we could get him in great shape with a touch more. Excellent timing. I'm conducting a seminar and would appreciate your help. And, as thanks for your assistance, rest assured you will be handsomely rewarded. All you need to do is speak with my lovely pupils here. Four of these folks are lying while one and only one is telling the truth. Your job is to find the odd one out. Ah, there's also a small fee to participate, but I'm sure you won't mind. think you can figure out who's telling the truth is out there as they say I encourage you to walk around town and find it well do you I'm dying to read Gus's autobiography meditations on the outlaw life but the bookstore still doesn't have it in stock You checked out the graffiti at Gus's place? He's got a Del Sol cactuar in there. See if you can find it. If you visit the Beast Battleground, you might just run into a rare monster named Test Zero. Don't know. You checked out the graffiti. I'm dying. You've been to the weapon shop? It's ridiculously loud in there. I like it though. Helps me relax. Plus, they sell potions there, too. If you're looking for a place to get loaded, then look no further than Bail Jumper. It's the only bar that serves Cosmo Canyons. <laughs> oh, too bad. My pupils have a knack for the art of discerning the truth is a skill, just like telling a- Well, do you think you can figure out who's telling the truth? You need to get yourself over to the local bookstore to nab a copy of Gus's autobiography, Meditations on the Outlaw Life. It's a must read, trust me. You checked out the graffiti at Gus's place? He's got a Del Sol cactuar in there. See if you can find it. You should test your might in the Beast Battleground. They've got a rare monster named Bug Zero. You should test your might in the Beast Battleground. They've got a rare monster named Bug Zero. You checked out the- Have you read Gus's autobiography? Congratulations. Their deception was no match for your powers of perception. Beware, my aspiring swindlers. Clever ones like this are harder to fool. But so long as you continue to train and apply yourselves, I can teach you to swindle even the toughest marks. Yes, yes sir. sir! As for you, rest assured that I am a man of my word. Those greens are hard to find in a place like this. Quite the handsome reward, wouldn't you say? And that makes three. Once Pico's had his fill, he'll be ready to hit the track and win us that race.
some quality stuff, did ya? right as rain and fit to hit the track whenever you are when you're ready to head up to the stadium just speak to your babysitter over there <laughs> oh before you go if you happen to have any more greens consider trading them in for racing gear vegetables are hard to come by down here so i'd be happy to buy yours having trouble finding that oh yeah try the qb collect good luck out there cutie pie so, you ready or what? About time. Let's get this show on the road. Come with me. Actually, on second thought, I'll take him up top. That work for you? Say what? <laughs> Fine. You want to go roll in the hay with this idiot? Go wild. And on that note, follow me. It's hard to believe this is the same Pico that nearly died in the desert. You should have seen him that first day, the poor boy. More dirt than Chocobo. Couldn't so much as give us a quail without popping up sand. He's a whole new bird now, though. Might even have what it takes to win. Question is, do you? Even the fastest Chocobos can't win Jack without the right jockey. I've seen my fair share of promising birds wasted on riders who didn't know their asses from a hole in the ground. Believe me. In the racing world, it's all about who's holding the reins. On you go. Competing in the race today? Yep. We'll get your bird prepped for you. Just sit tight in the jockey lounge. And no wandering off, okay? A bug boy? Hmm? <laughs> hey there, Joe. Why, Esther, you grow lovelier by the day. <laughs> uh-huh, sure I do. Oh, where are my manners? This here's Joe. He's one of Sam's jockeys. <laughs> and as much as it pains me to admit it, the man's far and away the best rider in the sport. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. This is Cloud, an up-and-coming star of the track. And all ours. Be sure to wave hi when he laps you. Well, sounds like you got a fan, son. I wonder, though, you win her over with your skills or with one of them smoldering looks? <laughs> Don't see why it can't be both. About time I had some competition, assuming Esther's not full of it. For both our sakes, I hope she isn't. Get him. The race is starting soon, so stay focused. Speaking of, you might want to consider practicing. The sim here can help with that. Ready to make your debut in the racing world? Your first race ever, and it's with Joe? Our next race will begin shortly. All participating jockeys, please proceed to the paddock. You good to go?
Hmm. Here's a secret. I survived that recent shooting. <sighs> You're not talking about the Colosseum, are you? Yes, I was there. Or I would have been had I not gone to the bathroom just before. That's amazing. <gasps> You're so lucky. Aren't I just? <laughs> Which is why I know my bird's a winner. <laughs> Ooh, what a scrumptious looking parfait. And with plenty of butterscotch, I see. Bottoms up. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Got eyes on him. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Do you know how hot it is out here? I'm melting. <sighs> God, what asshole decided our uniforms had to be black? <sighs> I'll be there as soon as I can. You freaking better. And bring something cold to drink. Or better yet, ice cream. Is vanilla No, okay? vanilla. Seriously? I'm gonna heat stroke over here! I'm gonna die! You want that? Do ya? <sighs> Wish you were here, partner.
the real deal, kiddo. I just provided the encouragement. And thanks to you, my prison's gonna be a goddamn palace. Good for you. Ooh, so frosty. But here in the desert, we like it hot, fiery, dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Now where's our guy? Easy, Snowflake. Solemn Gus is a man of his word. Are you scared I'll break my promise? That tunnel over there will take you where you need to go. Past all that quicksand like a slippery little sidewinder. And at the other end, one of my beautiful vultures will be waiting to guide you through the desert. So be a good tourist. We got old Shooty McShooterson tied up nice and tight in a shack out in the scrapyard. But now he's all yours. Turn him over. Give him his just desserts. It's your call to make. There's no way Barrett shot those people, right? Are there any other guys who might have gone on a killing spree? I know him. He'd never do that. Well, we'll find out soon enough.